This is Rashma B. Reggae Girl About Town here in Jamaica, Emancipation Park for the first official screening of the new Bob Marley documentary. <laughs> Well, we're here today in Jamaica and it's the first official screening for the Bob Marley movie and of course it's colliding with the 50th anniversary for Jamaican independence. The whole world gets to see this movie tomorrow. The, the Jamaicans get to see it here today. Because we're special. It's our movie. It's made here. It's about us really. Yeah, so that's understandable. And how important do you think this is? I think it's really a wonderful way to affirm the cultural power of Jamaica. To think that a little island can produce such great people. And Bob Marley's music in particular transcends time and space. We had a conference a few years ago on global reggae where we looked at the impact of reggae all over the world. And it's amazing to see how anywhere in the world you go and you say Jamaica, they say Bob Marley. These days they say you say it holds, you know, but it's also a sign of the way in which we are able to create. And I call our, us, I think of ourselves as island people with a continental consciousness. We're not limited by this little island. We know we come from a vast continent. Well, I'm from the UK. I can definitely vouch that we're yes. reggae heads. Yes. And talking about Usain Bolt, he's going to be there at the 2012 Olympics. Are we going to see you down there? No, I think it's going to be too much, too much excitement. I'll enjoy it from here via satellite. And before I let you go, yes. tell me what your favorite Bob Marley track is. You know that that's not a fair question. There are so many Bob that's Marley That's why tracks. we ask it. But the one that I love that resonates for me is so much trouble in this world but despite the trouble there's power to survive and to achieve uh, can we get the privilege of getting you to try to sing a couple of lines so much trouble in the world that's all you're gonna get yes we are all blessed here to, to be here tonight i must say it's a great blessing and uh, in this moment of time I want to say it's good for us as Africans and Jamaicans to be here to watch this memorable program tonight. And I don't want to talk too long because Bob has so much things to say. Yeah, so enjoy the rest of the evening and be prepared. I, I cried, so I don't know. Don't cry as he said, no man no cry. So enjoy it, yeah? Bless you and thanks for coming. And so listen, we're going to fight it, all right, regardless of what the doctors might say or what they might do, we're going to fight it. Karas to never give up. Today's been an amazing atmosphere. What made you guys decide to release it officially here in Jamaica first? Well, it's the natural place to do it, isn't it? And to have an event like this, which uh, enables anyone who wants to come, anyone who's interested in Bob, to, to, to come here, and it creates a you know something which is a, a really unique and special experience i've never had, i've never been to a, a premiere that's like this before and um i don't think i'll probably ever go to one again because bob means so much to so many people who are here tonight that it has a very special emotional atmosphere and uh it's so well put together so well organized you know the sound was good the picture was good they had all these screens all over the park it was a fantastic event. I know you're tired, so I'm going to cut it short. Just tell me, what's your favorite Bob Marley song? That's an impossible question. There are 50 songs in this movie, and people always complain to me, oh, you left out my favorite song. So there's a lot of good Bob Marley songs. But I love, um, I love uh, the, the version of No Woman, No Cry that's in this, the piano version. It's really special. It's a, it's a gospel version of one of the songs we all know so well, of course, of Bob's. But it gives a whole new spin to it. Very, very emotional. It's never been heard before. It's a demo. It's got Peter Tosh on the piano. It's, it's lovely. Any chance of you singing a couple of lines and I'll let you go? I have no voice at all, so <laughs> never. <laughs> it's a pleasure. No, I hope you enjoyed you. it. You look like I, you're really... I, I had a fantastic time. It was a real one of the nights of my life. I know you've won a few um, awards in your time, so what do you think you might bag for this one? <laughs> I have no idea. You know, awards are a kind of strange thing that, that it's not really necessarily to do with the quality of the movie. Um, it's a, that's a whole um, a, a, a whole different bunch of um, whole different bunch of criteria. So, I'm I just I think the movie is a good movie. I hope people, other people do, and I hope a lot of people around the world see it. The essence of Bob Marley is Bob Marley is a man that 
came from humble, simple beginnings as he earned the film through the color him skin, him get persecuted, red boy, half cast, all that, but that just make him stronger. And him say, and not on the white man's side, and not on the black man's side, and God's side. I don't go left, I don't go right, I go straight ahead. So him really just set apart and him set an example that most people say, boy, them suffer and ray, 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 and think, Bob was a street boy, I never have nowhere to sleep. I had to wait till tart a gambling table clear for sleep. So I think him lift the spirit of people universally that you can make it if you try. You can't just say, well, then, boy, the white man, the disarray and sorry for yourself and all that. Because I'd rather teach a man how to fish than give him a fish. Obviously, Bob's known for his music. What's your favorite Bob Marley song? Ask me what's Bob Marley's favorite song, the whole of them. But the most important one is Redemption song. Can you sing us a few lines? Me? No, man. Me not a singer. <laughs> but I would just say, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves could free our mind. Mean that you have to have a personal revolution within yourself. You know, we look too much like people help, we are help and help. And Rastaman means independence. You know what I mean? Because we not beg nothing. And how did it feel for you to be at the event today? I mean, it was an amazing atmosphere. Well, I knew it would be like that because anything to do with Bob is always larger than life. It just, it just brings people together. Anything to do with Bob is always unifying. Um, there is always the use of the word love frequently, which is wonderful. And the music is so powerful. I mean, when you see those shows, going back all those years, the last show in New York, when you hear that music kick off, I mean, I could still feel it. I could still feel it. It's so powerful. And that's never, ever changed. So, you know, I really enjoyed that. That was special. And I think that Kevin really captured the journey from the beginning right through to the end of his life. Now, you mentioned um, just before we started, you know, you feel like you've gone through an emotional roller coaster. Sure. What do you mean? Well, the footage of the end of him when he was really now suffering and his locks were gone and, you know, it, it just go back to remembering the night that we caught them and, and what that felt like and going to Germany to visit him there and finally coming to Miami the day before he finally passed with Damien to see him for the last time, even though Damien wouldn't remember that. And it just, it just takes you to a, a place where it still hurts. It still hurts. And not just in a romantic way. I, it was really, really hard to, to see such a great human being losing their life. I won't know anybody like that in my life again. The closest is my son. And his music inspires me too. But I won't be lucky enough. I don't believe to be close that close to that kind of greatness again in my life. But it doesn't come along that often. <laughs>